guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. Today is a four for four and we're talking about some neutral palettes and some amazing work palettes. I am so excited to talk to you about some of these because a couple of these are like have been my go-tos for years that I really just love and get so much joy out of and a couple of them are newer palettes that I wanted to compare and see how, how they performed. So I first up, I have the Narcissist. This is the Wanted palette by NARS. I also have the Fenty uh, Bomb Posse. I should put it right side up. This is the new palette that came out over the holiday season last year, 2021. And yeah, interested in that one. Then I have the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. This one I picked up from from Ulta when they were doing like the 50% off. I think I got it at Ulta and not Sephora. But I was I had been interested in it, so I was excited to get it for 50% off. And then finally, I have the Soft Glam palette from ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has been, you know, just a love for a long time. Thought it would be interesting to compare a couple old palettes to a couple new palettes and all really good work colors. So, you know, if you're not going to an office where you can be crazy or that you would feel comfortable you know with crazy eye looks like to the colors that i'm wearing today i would never wear to work and obviously today my i don't know i'm not digging the look it was an experiment trying to like play with different color combos in a palette and i don't know if it so much worked i had some fallout issues with it as well that's that's a palette down the road if you enjoy this there will be a whole playlist i will have it linked up above so you can you know watch a whole bunch of different palette reviews from all of the past year and a half or so that I've been doing this. Let's start with the Soft Glam. Like I said, I love this palette. This has been a go-to for me. So the Soft Glam, uh, and forgive me if the colors go funky. It's If I don't have my face on camera, I don't know what it is. So this is what they all look like. You have, as you can see, this one has gotten some nice love from it over the years. You have a lot of neutral colors in here, slightly warmer tones in here as well. Okay, so we swatched on my hand and then moved to the side because um, my sleeves, the, do you get this where like your sleeve is too tight and you can't roll it up all the way? Yeah, I, I can't get it past there because uh, my arms are too fat or muscular or whatever you want to say. Um, so we start with the very lightest shade, which you can barely see. Um, and then there's just a lot of different warm tones in there. I love this palette. I reach for that lightest shade a whole bunch. Like there is a significant, I, I wish I could like show you how big of a divot is in there. Like I've worn this one so much and I go in to orange soda and burnt orange, these two quite a bit, as well as dusty rose. Like those are my go-to, uh, in the crease, always brow bone. And then like, I just have fun because other than the black, I don't think I've used the black at all. Like today, swatching it is probably the only time I've used it but all of the other shades I mix and match and I play with and I feel like they all work together even though the dusty rose is more you know slightly more cool toned I feel like I just get great looks I know that it's going to work pretty good for the most part minimal fallout I had a little bit more fallout with some of the shimmers I'm trying to remember I think it was this one here, the bronze and maybe a little bit of the sultry. They, they had a little bit more fallout than usual. I used these with a brush every single time. I didn't use um, my fingers for any of the shimmers when I was using it. And the looks uh, were beautiful. It lasted really well. I think this is a great palette. Uh, one that I highly recommend and definitely one that is staying in my collection. All right, so let's contrast that with one of the newer palettes. This is the Fenty palette, the Balm Posse. So the packaging on this one is kind of interesting. It, uh, it's thicker. It was a little harder to get open and closed. So the Fenty palette, kind of thick packaging, a little hard to get in and out of. Uh, very laid out pretty nicely. You have, your, it goes from lightest to darkest. <sighs> I will say like this one was a little hard um, to get some depth to because the darkest in here is not that dark, which is kind of funny because Rihanna did this palette and 
you would think she would have a few more darker shades so that they would show up and give more depth for people with darker skin tones. But that's maybe that's just my thoughts. This palette didn't take quite as much space, which is nice. Um, you can still see um, those first shades there, swatch, very, very light, not much of a presence. Even that uh, shimmer in the middle, like it's very hard to see. That was my biggest complaint about this is there's not a lot of depth, so I felt like I was using either this shimmer, which is kind of patchy, as you can tell, or I was using that dark brown. And then like, you know, a couple mid-range shades, a couple middle, you know. It was fine, I I didn't hate it. Um, if I had tried it right away, maybe I wouldn't have kept it. I would have returned it. I don't feel strongly enough about it that I'm like, oh, I hate it, I wanted to clutter it, or I feel like, somebody else will enjoy it more. I don't feel like that. I feel like I will wear it, I will get use out of it, and I will enjoy some of the looks. Like this shade right here, I just think is so pretty. I really enjoy that shade. Um, I did like some of the shimmers in here, some of them more than others. It was mainly like this one was just so darn light on my skin. So yeah, some nice colors in there. I did um, like it. I don't, it's not a love for me, but it's one I, I would not recommend going out and purchasing. All right, let's talk about the Nars Narcissist. This is an also an Alder palette. This was the Wanted palette. It was kind of like the second one that they did. They did one, I think I just reviewed it not too long ago. If I can remember, I'll put a link up here. So this one was definitely more uh, warm toned, more you know pinky toned for that neutral as opposed to the other one, which was more gold toned. And oh my gosh, I have used this palette so much. This is definitely one of my go-tos for work. It is a 12 pan, so was the Fenty. I forgot to say the ABH is a 14 pan. So pretty average in sizes, but let me swatch this one. All right, so here we have them swatched. Um, went back to the arm instead of trying to do it on the hand. So as you can see, there are some very light shades starting at my wrist and then they gradually get darker, but there's a good variety I feel in this palette. Some beautiful shimmers. Some of the shimmers are a little bit more chunky than others. Like this one right here, I feel like has a lot more chunkiness to it. It's not a bad thing by any means, but it just doesn't go on as smoothly as some of the other ones. Uh, some very standout ones like this one right here is just a beautiful shimmer. It really does have an impact. I, I love this palette. Um, I'm gonna say that right now. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. If you had me like think about like what were some of my favorite palettes, this would definitely be on that list. And this is one that I know that it's going to have some great colors. It's going to work really well. The shadows perform well. The um, mattes blend out well. There is more fallout with this one than the ABH. I didn't talk about fallout um, on the Fenty. I don't really remember much fallout. I feel like it, they performed pretty average. So I feel like this one, the sh shimmers have a little bit more fallout. You might wanna apply some of them, the more chunky ones, with a finger rather than a brush, but this one performs really well. And um, if you were lucky enough to get this one, break it back out and start using it. All right, our fourth palette and final palette is the Born This Way uh, Too Faced Natural Nudes palette. So you have a lot more shades in here. Um, there are 16 in here, I, was, I had to count really fast. Um, so you have 16 shades, so that's two more than the Soft Glam, but that's four more than the last two palettes that we just talked about. You have a wide range. You have some really dark shades over here. You have some nice, really super light ones over here. Just a wide variety. So let me swatch these and we'll talk about them. All right, so here we have them all swatched. As you can see, like, there's a lot more pigmentation to these. They have they stand out a lot more, especially like the light shades over here. That was one thing that I was surprised. And you do have to go in with a light hand with these uh, lighter shades because if before you know usually I put a little bit on under my eyebrow, you know, before the transition shade in the crease, and this one like. If you put too much it's going to be really stark and it's not going to blend in very well so you have to go in very carefully with those but there are some beautiful shimmers in here there's a couple that are pretty similar in shade as you can see and then there's you know these ones are pretty similar these ones are pretty similar 
This one is not as dark, which I was kind of surprised by. I thought it would be show up a little bit darker. I didn't use um, the last two shimmer shades just because I don't I don't use a lot of dark shimmer shades because usually I have like a dark matte in my corner uh, and I don't so much reach for the shimmers, but they all perform really well. This is like the ideal Too Faced formula to me. Performs really well, minimal fallout. I would, for the most part, put these on with a finger for the shimmers. You can put them on with the brush and they will perform, but they just have an extra pop with that finger. So I think I think this is a really nice palette too, and I was definitely pleasantly surprised when I was using it because when I did it for this 4 for 4 was the first time I had ever tried it. Same with the Fenty one. So I took two ones that I knew that I loved and then two uh, new ones, and I really like this, and I, I'm i looking forward to using this one more. This is definitely like a good go-to for work as well. All right. Let's rank them and uh, kind of tell you where I would put them in my collection or if you were purchasing them, which I would recommend the most, which I would recommend the least. In fourth place, I'm going to put the Fenty Beauty Balm Posse palette. It's, you know, it was the most disappointing of the four. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I will get use out of it, but <clears throat> I don't think I would recommend purchasing it, especially for full price. I was lucky enough to get this on sale, so that really helped. So. I like it, not a love, definitely keeping it, but wouldn't recommend running out and getting it. If you found it for 50% off, I would definitely go for it. I'm gonna put my Narcissist in third place, and I'm gonna do that because I'm pretty sure this is no longer available, and so I just feel like bad putting it higher up because I feel like you can't get it anymore. I do love this palette, and it does make me so happy. I just, I love the shades in here. Like, the color, the tones of the browns, the rosiness of the shimmers and the, you know, the other shades in here. I really love this one. I like that it has a dark brown. It's not an actual black. I don't like, I'm not going to use the black shade in the, in any look that I do. Um, it's just not me. So yes, I love this palette and I think it's really good and I would recommend it, but I know it's probably hard to find. So I feel like bad putting it in second or first place. I'm going to put the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural News palette in second place because I think this is a really good palette and um, I really liked the shades. I, there's some really pretty shimmers and colors in here. You do get enough shades to do a lot of looks in here, but you do have to be a little bit careful because some of them are just, you know, a little pigmented for the white shades, you know? So I really do like this one. I think it's good. I just, I don't love it quite as much as my number one pick. So that means in first place is the Soft Glam palette. I, I, this is one of my favorite palettes. Like if you ask me what my favorite neutral palette is, this is gonna be one of them that I immediately think of. So is the Narcissist. Um, and this one is still available. They have a mini version of it. I think it's a great palette. And if you find it on sale, even better. But this is, I don't regret the like almost $50 that I paid for this one because it is so good. I don't like the black. That's me, we, just, we already went over that. But I love these shades and I was having so much fun this past week using it. Um, and yeah, I just, always solid, always know that you're gonna get a good look. Always know how consistent the formula is gonna be within the, pan, uh, within the palette. Um, you're not going to like suddenly is going to change formula. I just, I really like it. It's one of the best ABH palettes in my opinion. Let me know if you have any of these palettes, if you would have ranked them in a different order. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.